the skin depth is 1 over alpha. So we need to know what to use for alpha. Now if you look at table 7-1, you could just plug this full expression in and it would work for all frequencies and for all materials. Um, you could do that if you had a computer available. If you don't, or if we want to get a feel for whether our result from the computer makes sense and is correct, then we could look at our solution and we could say, well, we know from 1 kilohertz all the way to 10 megahertz, uh, we have a good conductor. And from 100 gigahertz and up, we have a low loss dielectric. And then in this region we have a transition zone where we can't use either the good conductor or the low loss dielectric uh, simplified expressions. We'd have to use the full expression. So we could break it up into three parts. We could use the good conductor expression here. So if we look at table 7-1, the good conductor alpha is square root of pi f mu sigma. So alpha is pi f mu sigma, square root of that. And since skin depth is 1 over alpha, we're going to get a skin depth which decreases according to 1 over square root of f, since the others are constant. It's gonna, this is going to change with frequency. Then for the low loss dielectric, low loss medium, we're going to use this expression. Oops, <laughs> give you an idea of what's coming. All right, so then for a low loss dielectric, we have alpha is sigma over 2 square root of mu over epsilon. And this does not change with frequency, so this is just a constant value. So that means we're transitioning to, from sigma is decreasing according to 1 over square root of f, square root of f, so if we plot it on a log scale it would be linear, to, and then there's a transition zone, and then we'll be at, it'll be constant with frequency after that, above that when it's a low loss dielectric. So, if we were to plug this in to a computer, we would see that we get that behavior. So, up to, um, let's see, 10 to the 3 is 1 kilohertz, right? So that is, uh, oh, 10 megahertz. All oh, right, that's our starting sound. So this is in megahertz. Okay. I was getting confused. All right, so this is, uh, since this scale is in 1 megahertz, this is 1 kilohertz here when we have 10 to the minus 3. And 10 to, uh, nope, I don't want that. So 10 to the, to 1, this is, let's see, that would be 10 megahertz, right? 10 megahertz, and I already forgot that is, yep, that's our transit. So it is going to change when plotted on a log scale, so notice the x -ax the y-axis here is a log scale, the x-axis is 2, so a log log scale will get a straight line when it's in a good conductor, the skin depth changes with frequency between here and here. And over here, at um, 100 gigahertz, we are going to get, it's going to flatten out and be a straight line. And in between, we see we have our transition zone, which is transitioning between the linear relationship and the straight, flat, constant value.